here we are, first day of road training with my trainer who was totally awesome, very cool guy. Uh, running a Walmart account, so we picked up a Walmart load, a refrigerated trailer, and uh, started out in the Sterling Distribution Center. Weather was fine. Got here to the south side of Chicago, delivering to a local Walmart, which is a major pain in the neck to get into on a good day. And the dock is down that away, if you can see down that street. And there ain't no way that's happening. So we are now stuck. We got our four ways on and we're trying shovels and kitty litter. We've been here for about three hours now. Um, yeah, fun times. <laughs> More later. Yeah, so that's the street we tried to get down. The dock is down that street. We're about where that white car is coming up, if you can see it. Yeah, the dock is off to the left. No way in hell of getting down there, but we went, we tried. That uh, bridge up ahead is 11.6. Yeah, the truck is 13.6, so no going forward under that bridge. We literally had to, to get traction to get back out. We had to go all the way underneath the bridge with the nose of the tractor to get to some uh, less snowy ground to get a little traction and get a running start. And we backed it all the way down the street. Yeah, unfortunately, when we went to try and turn, to pull it out yeah that's when we lost all the traction completely and now semi truck stuck in Chicago because they don't plow streets there we go we are stuck Been trying forever to get it out so hopefully it won't be too much longer and now Chicago's finest Chicago PD here to hopefully rescue us. <laughs> Still stuck. This is just absolutely crazy because of the snowfall here. The snow is wet, packing snow. As soon as you pack it, it turns into solid ice. So yeah, hopefully this guy can get us a city snow plow and uh, hook up a chain on our front end and pull us out of this corner. Because uh, once we get moving, we should be okay. But boy, I tell you what, as soon as you stop, it's like stopping in quicksand. So, more hey, now things, uh, if they weren't insane already, now they're getting more insane. Uh, this guy comes running down the street and comes up to our officer that was trying to figure out what to do with our truck and saying, hey, somebody pulled a gun on me. Yeah, so now that's another backup, actually two backup cops down there. I don't know if we can see that, if I can zoom in on that. Um, yeah. So two more of Chicago's finest there, trying to figure out what happened to the other officer that went running after the guy that apparently pulled a gun on somebody. So yeah, things, see, this is a pretty exciting day here for Schneider. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. And in the meantime, we have people like this. People like this that try to get through an impossible situation to get through. The stupidity is just mind boggling. Oh boy, what a day. So, back at the hotel room, finally in beautiful Rock Falls. Um, yeah, where we last left off. Uh, gosh, what a blur. Um, anyway, we ended up waiting around for a few more hours uh, until it got dark. Um, and then, eventually, a big wrecker came and a big tow truck and uh, with a huge winch on it and... He was able to pull us out of there, and even he had a problem trying to pull that truck out because um, it was in there pretty good. So anyhow, uh, he got us out. We got back on the road and another uh, two and a half, almost three hours drive out to Sterling again uh, at the Walmart Center. Dropped our trailer there and uh, got in my car and headed over here, so to the hotel. So a very long day. Um, probably, you know, about 14, 14 hours or so of fun. Uh, but it was cool. Um, my trainer is a, is a really great guy and, uh, you know, we made the best of it. You know, what are you going to do? Just, that's trucking. So, uh, survived and that's all that matters. Nothing got hit, nothing got damaged. Um, 
you know, nothing, no calamity other than just having to sit there and wait to get towed out. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, anyway, uh, more to come as I can. See ya. <laughs>